pieces, extra, extra, it's just You want a piece of me? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the most shocking, heartbreaking, and gut-punching bombshells Britney Spears dropped in her memoir, The Woman and Me. So this is a secret that she's kept for more than 20 years. Number 10. How she found out about the hashtag Free Britney movement. In 2009, the hashtag Free Britney movement began as fans grew concerned about Britney Spears' conservatorship. Many credit a podcast for shining a light on Britney's conservatorship and how she was being controlled. The podcast was created by two comedians that analyzed her Instagram account. Over time, it gained widespread support, with fans using the hashtag to express worries about her legal situation. In her memoir, Britney writes that she first became aware of the movement while in a rehabilitation facility, which she claims her father forced her into. During her stay, a nurse showed her videos of passionate fans rallying behind her. Showed her some images of women in Free Britney t-shirts and showing signs of support. And that meant a lot to Britney. I think it really helped her know that when she was feeling so alone, she actually wasn't that alone. Britney reflected, quote, I don't think people knew how much the hashtag Free Britney movement meant to me, especially in the beginning. In 2021, after the conservatorship ended, Britney expressed gratitude to the fans who had given her a voice when hers had been silenced. Spears herself has thanked the Free Britney movement, saying, Because of you guys and your constant resilience in freeing me from my conservatorship, my life is now in that direction. Number 9. Dancing with That Python Britney's 2001 VMA's performance was iconic, but behind the scenes, it was a different story. Britney previously shared her fear of snakes and the terror of having to perform with one. She revealed that while she was making pop culture history, the reptile was hissing and flicking its tongue near her face, making her fearful it might attack. <laughs> So instead, she kept her head down and focused on performing. Her 2007 VMA performance took a different turn. She writes that a lot was going wrong behind the scenes, and to add to the chaos, she unexpectedly met her ex, Justin Timberlake, who was doing great. Despite everything, Britney says she gave her best to the performance. Unfortunately, it was brutally panned. I just want more. Number 8. Her acting career. In 2002, Britney played Lucy Wagner in Crossroads, a film that followed childhood friends embarking on a journey of self-discovery. She shared that she immersed herself in method acting, blurring the lines between reality and fiction. I'm just trying to find the woman in me, yeah. This intense approach left her uncertain about further pursuing acting, and she even turned down a role in the 2002 Oscar award-winning musical Chicago. Interestingly, Britney nearly reunited with her Mickey Mouse Club co-star Ryan Gosling after auditioning for The Notebook. According to casting director Matthew Barry, it was between her and Rachel McAdams. While she says she's relieved she didn't play the role, we can't help but wonder what it might have been like if she had. I know I had to see you again because we never really finished things, not really. Number 7. Her Relationship with Jamie Lynn Britney's strained relationship with her younger sister has made headlines, especially due to their very public clashes on social media. Accusing Jamie Lynn of exploiting Britney for monetary gain and warning that publicly airing false or fantastical grievances is wrong, especially when designed to sell books. Following the end of her conservatorship, Britney openly discussed the mistreatment she experienced from her family, including Jamie Lynn. In her book, she expressed feeling overshadowed by parents favoring Jamie Lynn despite her unkindness towards them. Despite this, Britney remained protective over her little sister. She also shared feeling betrayed when she sought help from her during her conservatorship. Jamie Lynn seemed to side with their father, telling her, quote, There's nothing you can do about it, so stop fighting it. Setup was infringing on Britney's rights. You have to understand, since I was 17, this is the, she's been in the conservatorship for 13 years. I've never known anything different as an adult. Despite the hurt, Britney says she's, quote, working to feel more compassion for her sister. And no matter what, I'm always going to look at her as like my big sister. Number six, media scrutiny. Many of us remember how badly the media treated young stars like Britney Spears. You seem to get furious when a talk show host comes up with this <laughs> subject. Well, now she's revealed the intensity of being at the center of the media storm 
and being confused by the constant scrutiny. Because of the example for kids and how hard it is to be a parent and keep all of this away from your kids. Well, that's really sad that she said that. She recalls one MTV interview after the 2000 VMAs, where they made her watch footage of strangers responding to her performance, hoping to capture some big reaction. She also hasn't held back, calling out the media's response to her memoir and its role in her decision to leave the industry. They, they, they like to pick, have the person they pick on. I feel like I'm a target. Now, as Brittany explains, she takes charge of her narrative on social media, sharing moments that bring her joy and confidence, empowering herself in her own unique way. Number 5. Mental Health Struggles Brittany was often misjudged and placed under a harsh spotlight due to a lack of understanding about mental health. And nobody was talking about mental health when Britney Spears was going through all of that stuff in public. The conversation was about what was wrong with her. There was too much money to be made off her suffering. She says her struggles grew worse when she became a new mom and battled postpartum depression, all while the public closely watched her every move. Brittany candidly shared her experiences with perinatal depression, urging new mothers identifying with her symptoms to seek help early. Imagine going through that in addition to the microscope that she was under, yeah. and that can be a powerful message to anyone suffering that they can get help and get through it too. She also insists she wasn't the wild party animal she was painted to be or had a substance use disorder. She also says that her portrayal as a party girl was overblown. It was never as wild as the press made it out to be. She does, however, share that she used medication to provide temporary relief from depression. Brittany admitted that many of her highly publicized moments resulted from mental health struggles and stressful life events, but more on that soon. Number four, the end of her relationship with Justin Timberlake. Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake were the ultimate teen pop power couple until their breakup in 2002. In her book, Britney shares the heart-wrenching moment when Justin ended their relationship with a blunt text that read, It's over. She says he initiated over text, saying that she was devastated, yet portrayed by the media as a harlot who'd broken the heart of America's golden boy. She also admitted to kissing choreographer Wade Robson while dating Timberlake, but insisted it was her only indiscretion and they'd move past it. She also claims that Justin was unfaithful, too, but only she was vilified, not helped by his crimey A River video featuring a Britney lookalike. She also discusses her distressing 2003 interview with Diane Sawyer, revealing how she felt manipulated and humiliated, and how it brought her to her, quote, breaking point. You broke his heart. You did something that caused him so much pain, so much suffering. What did you do? Number 3. Why She Shaved Her Head I'm dream since I was In 2007, Britney Spears made headlines when she famously shaved off all her hair. In her book, she opens up about why she took such a drastic step. And she said, I don't want anyone touching me. I'm tired of everybody touching me. During this challenging period, Britney was juggling motherhood and a difficult divorce, all while the relentless media watched her. In her memoir, she reveals that shaving her hair was an act of rebellion against the overwhelming pressure and harsh judgment she faced from the media and the public, who had been scrutinizing her since her teenage years. I'd been eyeballed so much growing up, I'd been looked up and down, had people telling me what they thought of my body since I was a teenager. Shaving my head and acting out were my ways of pushing back. She also reveals that when her conservatorship started, she was forced to grow her hair back, adhere to specific body standards, and do exactly as she was told. Number 2. Getting an Abortion In perhaps one of the biggest bombshells in her memoir, Brittany shared that she discovered she was pregnant while dating Justin Timberlake. So this is a secret that she's kept for more than 20 years. She knew becoming a mother was something she had always dreamed of. While it was unexpected, she wasn't upset by the news since she loved Justin and hoped they would start a family one day. Justin, on the other hand, insisted that he wasn't ready for fatherhood, so they decided to terminate the pregnancy. Although Brittany admits that she might not have chosen this path if the decision had been solely hers. Spears recalled the painful experience, with Justin trying to console her by playing the guitar as she lay in agony on the bathroom floor. He was allegedly at Britney's side, strumming his guitar, trying to comfort her as she cried on her bathroom floor. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. She started drinking in eighth grade. She revealed that her mom took her drinking, saying, quote, We called our cocktails toddies. Her marriage to Jason Alexander. She said she was bored and, quote, very drunk when she married her former friend, 
Her family wasn't happy. Brittany and Jason, who were childhood friends, infamously got married in Las Vegas back in 2004. But the union was short-lived, only lasting 55 hours. Her fling with Colin Farrell. Spears called it, quote, a two-week brawl, adding, quote, we were all over each other, grappling so passionately. She wasn't happy about ex-Tina and her ex teaming up for that 2003 Rolling Stone cover. Spears said that, regardless of their intentions, it felt like they were, quote, pouring salt in the wound. She, quote, absolutely hated her X Factor gig. She said she wasn't a fan of having to, quote, act skeptical for eight hours straight while judging people on TV. I want to know who let you on stage. Um. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable with you even staring at me. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Conservatorship In a heart-wrenching revelation, Brittany shares why she initially agreed to the conservatorship, her love for her children. After temporarily losing custody, she hoped complying would help her reunite with them. There's some speculation that Brittany may have basically accepted the conservatorship because she was worried about seeing her kids. And a few weeks later, she starts to get some visitation rights restored. But it came at a huge personal cost. She says her spark faded while the Britney Spears image thrived, a pain she squarely places on her father. She even tried discussing it on a talk show, but says that part was edited out. Britney confessed that she felt like the conservatorship stripped away parts of her identity making her feel like, quote, a sort of child robot. Spears describes a life of controlled manipulation. Too sick to choose my own boyfriend, and yet somehow healthy enough to appear on sitcoms and morning shows and to perform for thousands of people. She was on vacation when the happy news came. After 13 years, it was finally over, granting her the freedom she longed for. If, if you had one word to describe how Britney's feeling today, what do you think it is? Happy. Which reveal surprised you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments. Ah!